as the leader of India, he he certainly uh, is by definition a global leader. I think uh, he's uh, got strong opinions on a lot of subjects. I think one of the subjects that uh, that will be discussed here in Washington will be trade relations between the two countries and integration of India, not just in the WTO context and uh, international affairs uh, on the economic side, but but more broadly. I think that's very important. I think India has a lot of opportunities here, uh, as you see American, Japanese, European companies uh, unwinding their supply chains uh, in China, not making additional capital commitments. India, it seems to me, provides a, a very attractive place that they might consider going, uh, having access to millions of people who speak English is a huge competitive advantage for India. Uh, and so there, there are real uh, uh, areas here where greater cooperation, certainly between the U.S. and India, can provide uh, enormous benefits for both countries. Well, I think this is a very important visit uh, because I think uh, India and the United States have a lot to talk about on a whole range of issues, uh, international politics, economics, uh, m many, many things that, uh, many challenges that confront both countries. Uh, and I think there there are important decisions to be made in both countries, and, and if I may say so, particularly in India, about how to deal with, uh, with some of the threats and challenges that we face. So I think uh, a meeting between the, the two leaders of the countries uh, makes a lot of sense. And uh, it's been a couple of years since the prime minister was here in the U.S., so it's uh, good to host him here again. And uh, uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of this. Uh, so, right. Uh, so we have seen the strengthening of relationship between India and USA, both under the leadership of President Trump and Joe Biden. And the relationship and convergence is not only on bilateral issues, but also on multilateral fora as well. How do you see that going forward? Well, I think the big challenge that confronts uh, India and the United States is how to deal with China. Um, I think uh, the the view in the United States uh, shared to a large extent across party lines is that uh, China is a, a large threat to, uh, uh, to the U.S. and its friends and allies around the world with its hegemonic aspirations, uh, not just in Asia, but uh, but beyond. Uh, it's been stealing intellectual property for a long time. It's been trying to bully and intimidate uh, countries along its Pacific uh, and in Indian Ocean, Indian uh, 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 frontiers. And uh, uh, a lot is going to depend on how the countries in the region uh, align with countries outside the region to deal with it. And the two most important countries in that uh, uh, complex situation are India and the United States. Uh, I think it's been very important that uh, India has joined with Japan and Australia and the U.S. and the Asian Security Quad. But I think there are a lot of other questions as well. You know, there's a debate, at least I see the debate, uh, by some in India who say that closer security relations with the U.S. and, and others is uh, important. I, but I see others in India say, no, we should try and hedge between the United States and China. Um, I, I understand there's a long history here. I'm just saying I think it's very difficult to walk a tightrope uh, like that. And I think India's uh, interests lie in closer relations with the United States. And I, I hope that's the view that uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, uh, increasingly accepts, because I think that would contribute to the security both of India and the United States and many other countries, too. Uh, between the U.S. and India, we can have a few uh, agreements that come out of this uh, summit, I think that would be a plus. I think India has lots of opportunities to expand its own defense industry uh, indigenously. And I think that's that's something to be looked at as well.